Okay guys, so here we go. How are you today? Nice to see you. So we're talking about, it's a little bit of humour actually, it's people that manipulate you for, uh, for gains, but they'll do it through spirituality or through energy work or through a vibration and all that kind of thing. Hi guys, how you doing? So these are actual events that um, have actually happened to me and I'm going to share them with you. And it is a bit of a laugh, but some of them were actually quite serious at the time. How, hi Amy, how you doing my love? All about those gains, all about those gains, oh dear, what can I say? So we'll start with the kind of flirtatious ones, right? So as I said before guys, these are actually real life events that actually happened to me. Thanks very much for your heart. I really do appreciate it. And if you think somebody will get a bit of a laugh out of this, or and perhaps it's something that your friends have been through or um, you know might know about, then don't forget to share it on. And if you're not following, don't forget to do that right here for this live stream on Periscope. Here we go. So the first one I've had, not first one I've had, but one of the first ones on my list is people saying things to me like, um, or somebody in particular saying to me, um, oh my gosh, your energy is so amazing. Can I touch your aura? Hmm, okay. Um, and then putting their hand out and doing like a stroke, but isn't making any contact with your skin, but doing this kind of stroking motion. Hmm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, kind of um, very bizarre and... Um, a weird kind of way to be wanting to flatter somebody, what you say? So um, that was kind of odd. A another real common one, and this, this one's happened to me on many occasions, is I definitely know you from somewhere and I feel so close to you and you're so familiar to me. We're soulmates. We are definitely soulmates. So this is somebody trying to reel you in. If it's happening in a flirtatious way, it's different like if you've known someone for a while and it's really sincere, and it's different if somebody's using it as like a catchphrase to try and reel you in for flirtatious purposes. Another one that I've had that's similar to that one is, you're my twin flame. I'm your twin what? But you know what, it's really funny because all of these incidences have given me like a lot of, what's up Jay, have given me like a lot of inspiration to actually dig quite deep and find out what this, where this is all coming from. So it's been good, even though it's been sort of a little bit sort of like, you know, sort of a little bit fingers down your throat at the same time. So the soulmates and, you know, we're twin flames and we're going to be together for the whole of eternity throughout the whole of time until the end of time and forever, ever and forevermore. I don't think so. And and that one is um, can bring a little bit of panic into the situation when somebody wants you forever and ever because you are their twin flame. Ah. Uh, so I've actually done some done some scopes and some YouTube videos about twin flames. So um, you can find out all about that on my YouTube channel if you want to. Helen Christodoulou is the name of the YouTube channel. So um, that's about people trying to sort of reel you in through the twin flamey soul, uh, you know, soulmate kind of situation. Um, a couple that are linked to that is, I'm sure we have shared other lives together. And then they'll start actually describing those other lives. Now again, if this is like in the right format, in the right setting, in the right environment, for the right reasons, no problem. But when someone just comes out with that, out of the blue that you don't even know, it can feel like a bit of a violation. Do you know what I mean? It really can feel like a bit of a violation. Somebody peeking into your other times and places and stuff, you know. Hey Marion, how are you doing darling? Nice to have you in the house. So we're having a little bit of humour. People who are trying to kind of manipulate your energy a little bit by trying to be flirtatious in sort of like spiritual and energetic, icky sort of ways. That's what we're talking about today. So um, that's what we're talking about. So here's another one. I'm good too. No, I'm from, I'm from England. Yeah, not Australia. It's funny how people mix mix those two um, those two up. No more foreign languages, please. I will be deleting you if you are. Okay, so uh, that's another one. So another one we've got is um, 
This one's a little bit more serious. It was more serious at the time, of course, but now I'm, uh, I'm sort of like more laughing at it. So here it is. Um, you owe me because we have unfinished business from our previous lives. Okay, so um, someone that you have no nothing going on with in this life or perhaps you've done nothing but help them and now they've decided that because you have, um, you know, unfinished business from another life, I just feel like not paying you anymore. This has literally happened to me, okay? It's, I'm not making it up. No word of a lie. This has literally happened to me. Another one that's kind of really um, similar to that one and has also happened is um, I can't be around you because your energy is so powerful. Okay, I want to be around you because your energy is so powerful. Okay, so the same sort of stuff going on for the opposite reasons, which is kind of, again, really, really strange and um, very, very funny. Um, I worship you because your vibration is awesome. Okay, and I've always told students and um, always told um, clients and stuff, none of this pedal, pedestal stuff, you know, really, really strict by this kind of thing. But people still tend to do it for whatever reason, you know, they still tend to do it because it's a way that they want to use your power, but perhaps don't even know that yet. So they will shove you up there on that pedestal, whether you like it or not, whether you've explained it or you haven't explained it, it's something that people are just going to do because their energy happens to be weak at that time. So um, they, you know, want to worship you because your vibration is so flipping awesome when you are needed. I'm saying in inverted commas. And then after they've taken what they need from you, you can actually get. Who does she think she is? Does she think she's actually somebody? Does she think she's God or something? Haven't heard it directly, but I've heard it happening like through gossip and behind the uh curtains i've heard it going off so after being shoved on the pedestal of course you are then quite um clearly kicked off of it and that's happened also not fun at the time but now of course i can look back and laugh at it so um i've also been stalked which is um you know quite interesting for um spiritual and energy reasons <laughs> And um, in one instance, one of my stalkers actually um, made some, this is sort of like a little bit of a Snow White situation, where um, chocolates were actually, homemade chocolates were baked for me and left on my doorstep. And the note was, I'm, you know, um, something along the lines of, I'm very much in, in love with you and I'm sorry for my bad behaviour. And um, I promise not to do that again. And I'm sorry that some of the chocolates have been eaten or bitten. So I actually opened it and indeed some of the chocolates were actually bitten into. So that was a little bit of a do 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 moment. Um, not very nice. <laughs> yeah, seriously, this literally and actually happened to me. Um, so, of course, immediately, um, I didn't have any of the chocolate and I did throw it away. Um, and, um, yeah, that was a very interesting one. Um, the other one was, was where I was bombarded by lots of, um, text messages whereby the person in question kept changing their telephone number so that I would respond to it. And um, they would send messages along the lines of, um, I am completely in love with you because of our past life situation. And I think the only way to solve this situation is if we were to engage in a um, spiritual sex ceremony. I don't think so. Not going to be engaging in any spiritual sex ceremony with you. <laughs> Marion, you know, at the time it was actually awful, you know, and um, at the time I did respond, but of course the best response is silence, as you do know, so that will be a word of guidance now that I've wised up a little bit with that. But one of my immediate responses was, well, you know what, I'm not interested, I don't want to, I don't like you in that way, and apart from that I am, you know, very much happily involved with my partner, and it's a no-go, you know. 
Oh no, there's nothing to be, I mean, this is funny. That's why we're talking about it and putting it in the light of humour and funniness because it is very funny. And so I said, I'm not interested. I'm quite happy with my partner and I just don't want to know and don't text me again. And the response was, well, it's okay. We can, you know, sort of all be engaged in it and have a threesome and it will be a, an amazing exchange of DNA information. No, I don't think so. And so um, this sort of kind of stalking did actually go, go on for quite a while, but I just kept ignoring it and ignoring it until it dissipated. So um, this is the kind of stuff, guys, that I've been through um, during my journey as um, a spiritual consultant, a vibrational mentor and teacher and um there's loads loads more but this kind of encapsulates what it is that's happened so i've been stalked i've been admired i've been adored i've been insulted and i've also been psychically attacked too i've also had incidences where other people this bit's a little bit sad actually where other people in the trade felt very very threatened by me when the word got around about the um the level of the work that i actually do and they felt threatened and without my knowledge they would come in for a consultation and a session just to spy and then try to conduct um, some kind of level of um, dark occultism or spiritual magic to try and sort of like throw me on, off track so I had all of that as well so um, I really have been through the ringers in terms of people trying to manipulate or harvest um, you know your energy in all kinds of ways whether yeah seriously whether it's been for um, relationship purposes for sex for spiritual manipulation to um, try and rob you of your money um, to insult you to minimize you um, to demonize you even I've been through the whole lot but you know what I think I would safely like to say that I've come out a better uh, person for it. I have um, become spiritually and energetic streetwise for these uh, situations. At the time, some of them were very hurtful and very painful, but it did guide me to, uh, to do a lot of work of myself and toughen up and wisen up and um, be able to sort of like um, share some of these experiences in a way that might be preventative to people who are new on the vibrational block, so to speak. So this is why I'm sharing it with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Helen Christodoulou. Loads of free, amazing content on there for you. Glad you can catch me on this live stream or on the replay here on Periscope. And I will catch you again tomorrow at a similar time. So until then, guys, take care for now. If you can't be good, be careful. And if you can't be careful, I'm going to slap your bum. You're very welcome, Marion. Thank you for coming on, my love. Don't forget to share it on. Take care for now. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Ciao for now.